Going under the boat. Most people would fear the thought of coming face to face with a great white shark. Oh, oh, oh. But not these folks. They are with OSEARCH, a project started to help learn more about North Atlantic great white sharks. And we began to try to put together a project so we could solve the puzzle of the Atlantic great white shark. In the past, scientists have simply never been able to get their hands on a live mature specimen and let it go so they can solve the puzzle of multi-year migrations and where do the fish breed, where do the fish give birth. The project began in Cape Cod last September when two great white sharks were sighted. OSEARCH was able to put tags on both of them. One shark, Mary Lee, changed the whole project. And Mary Lee led us here to Jacksonville and then we moved the operation down here and came down and found two more great white sharks and got a tag on one of them which was just a historic breakthrough for our understanding of the fish. 14 feet total, 14 foot female yeah, shark. That shark was Lydia, whom you see here. OSEARCH found her near the jetties at the mouth of the St. John's River. And we attached an accelerometer to Lydia, which stayed on her for about two days and recorded her second by second behavior so we could see exactly how she recovered. We could see her attitude and pitch in the water, how many tail beats she was taking per second, and, and watch her recover and try to understand a little bit more about her physiology. Yeah, Lydia, do your thing, big girl! By learning their behavior in detail, researchers can be prepared for their behavior when they arrive. Fierce or not, they are majestic creatures that help keep the oceans in balance. Science, well, they are the lions of our ocean. They are the great balance keepers, the apex predator. So if we don't have a robust path forward for them, there's no robust path forward for the ocean itself. I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagno.